Hey everybody, welcome back to part 4 of the Blending Mode Tutorials. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and let's get into this. I suggest that you watch the first three tutorials um, before you watch this one, so that this m will make a lot more sense to you, especially the first one. So, what we're going to do is get into these this group here, which is the second to last one. The first two here are called an inversion group and the second two are cancellation group and together they're called the, um, the inversion and cancellation group pretty much they just put them in the same group so let's start out with difference now one thing oops, I'll go back to difference now one thing about the inversion and cancellation group is that they use complex math equations to figure out the different colors and um, rather than tr telling you what these equations are and how they do with all these words that you might not understand, why don't I just like give you like some like terms of you like using these? So pretty much the difference mode here, um, similar colors cancel each other out and create black and. A math equation does a selective inversion, is what it's called, where um, the black, it never gets inverted, white gets inverted absolutely, and then all the other levels invert based on their brightness. So pretty much all the colors get inverted, and um, the similar colors cancel each other out. It's kind of complex, and my advice is, Put your um, layer onto difference and see if it looks good in what you're doing. And if it doesn't, then don't use it. If it does, then use it. Same with exclusion here. Um, in this one, the similar, similar colors cancel each other out, but they produce gray instead of black. That's the difference between exclusion and difference. So exclusion produces gray. Now we'll come down to subtract which is in the cancellation group and it's like the kind of like the opposite of difference here um, the um, the blacks don't change colors and the whites uh, drop out to black so you're not gonna see like whites in here same thing goes with the cancellation groups just put them on your um, image and if you like what it looks like then keep it if you don't then don't use it um, the next one is divide and divide is um, different from subtract is in that the uh, whites they don't change color and the similar co colors turn white instead of black so that's that for the cancellation group let's go to the bottom group here which is called the component group and the first one we're gonna start on is hue so I'll click on hue and what it does is it keeps the hue of the active layer so the one you have selected and blends it with the luminance and the saturation of the lower layer. So that's what Hue does. And then I'll come down to Saturation. And Saturation keeps the saturation of the active layer. And then it blends the luminosity and the hue from the underlying layer. And then uh, colors from the active layer are saturated. They're going to appear using the luminosity and hue from the underlying layer. So that's what um, Saturation does. Now let's go to color. Now color, it keeps the color of the active layer, so the one on top that they have selected, and blends the hue and saturation of the active layer with the luminance of the lower layer. And then you get something like this. Luminosity. That's kind of weird looking. Um, it keeps the luminance of the active layer, and it blends it with the hue and sat saturation of the uh, composite view of the layer below. So composite view is the RGB view. So that's um, what comes out to this. And like I said before with the uh, with the uh, cancellation and inversion groups that you want to just test it out on your image. Uh, test the blending mode out and if it looks good use it and if it doesn't, does it, don't use it. If you don't want to remember all the different things of how they work, just remember that little um, piece of advice there, I guess. 
So I thank you for watching the uh, blending mode series. Hopefully you understand blending modes a bit more and can use them more to your advantage. And you can think of using blending modes when um, like in the pre-planning process, you can like expect to use those. That way, when you know what they all do, it's easier to pre-plan. So thanks for watching. I'm glad you guys uh, stuck around. Thanks for the views and remember to subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. Have a good one.